there's got to be some some way to make it easier for you just to stay in Pine Valley. Leaving is better for everybody. I, I, I don't care what's better for everyone. Do you think that it's better for you? At the moment, yes, I do. Have you considered that you have people here that you can count on? Ryan, I really don't want to talk about this but, with you. You want to fix this? You can't. It's too late. Okay? I fell in love with a man who doesn't love me back. It's nobody's fault. It happens all the time. But I cannot keep running into you in Greenland and pretending like it doesn't hurt. So I will move on. I will survive. to return this call. But you, is there a like, problem? Or? If there is, I'll handle it. You can't help yourself, can you? Worried about what happens to you? No, I can't. I wish you would. It would make everything a lot easier. And what does that, that mean? Nothing. Nothing, I gotta go. I was just... Okay, but just give yourself some oxygen first, okay? I ran into Ryan again. Oh, I could have guessed. He found out that I'm leaving town. Uh-huh. He was genuinely upset and concerned. Guilty conscience? And I'm guessing you didn't tell him about your pregnancy. No. I just couldn't get the words to come out. Man, it would have been the perfect time. No, there is no perfect time to tell a guy who's in love with someone else. Hey, guess what? I'm pregnant. Woohoo! I'd leave out the woohoo. I'm such a mess, Frankie. Hey, me and Randy, we're gonna be there for you, whether you're in Pine Valley or not. But for the record, we're both hoping you stick around. Hey, Madison, perfect timing. This, this is uh, Dr. Chow. She's a trauma specialist. Okay. Mr. Lavery told me about your gunshot wound. Said there may be complications. I've scheduled a complete physical for you first thing tomorrow morning. I look forward to seeing you. Great, thanks. Well, what was that all about? Well, I just, I thought maybe you could get a second opinion for your shoulder. Wh what about stay out of my life was unclear? I told you I wanted you to stay out of my business, okay? My welfare is none of your concern. Oh, uh, all right. Well, I kind of feel like it is, to some degree, because David was coming after me when, when you got shot, so... With his gun. His fault, not yours. So you can stop hanging on to me because of your guilt. No? No, it's just... Uh, I hurt you, Madison, and, and I guess I just... I want, I want to help, that's all. Yeah, I know. But I do not want to be poor, poor Madison to you. And what, what does Greenlee think about all this? Greenlee knows exactly how I feel. Yeah. I'm sure she's very understanding. Like I was when you kept running off to her rescue. Remember that? Look, Greenlee doesn't, doesn't mean you any harm at all. Greenlee would like for me to evaporate. Okay? And you know what? That's the same thing that I wished for her. Painless but permanent evaporation. Look, I, I, I really do understand how you feel. No, Ryan, okay. you don't. There is no way you could possibly understand how I'm well, feeling. Well, then help me. Please, help me. Explain it to me. Let me know what's going on with you. Look, Madison, 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 it, if I didn't think that there was more than what you're telling me, then I would back off. I'd leave it alone. And maybe I should. I mean, if I'm putting your health at risk here, if, if your anger at me is putting you in jeopardy... Just stop! being so nice, okay? Because all this is doing, as sweet as it is, is it's reminding me of what I lost. Okay, so please, please, just stop. Stop coming around and making doctor's appointments and trying to take care of me, okay? I need to stand on my own two feet again. Let me take care of myself. It's important. Not to me, it isn't. Madison, I know. I know you're pregnant. 